Assalamu alaikum friends, my name is Muhammad Yunus and I am Udo Technical Developer. So in the previous video we have uh, discussed how to display uh, the data on the website using the templates. So we have just displayed uh, the subjects, uh, a static list of subjects on the website using the template. So here you can see we have passed uh, all the subjects data through the Python method and here we have used the for each loop to display it and but in this video what we are going to do is to uh, show uh, the data from the model on the website so like we will store the data and in the odoo model so what the model does model is just a database table uh, and it stores the data permanently so that we can change it from the uh, backend and uh, display it on the website so for this purpose what we need to do uh, we will have to make a model and uh, then we will have to add data in the model and then we will uh, make some changes in the template and also in the controller so that we can display the data on the website so uh, the first step is uh, to make the model so but uh, here in this case we already have uh, the model like if we go here and uh, if you go to the web uh, open academy module we already have the data of the courses so what we will do uh, we will display uh, all the courses here from this model this is Odo backend model actually it is the database table and we will display uh, the course name description and responsible okay on this uh, website so for this purpose uh, we will have to make a change here so let me comment this and then here we will uh, have to uh, add the new change so first of all we will have to get uh, all the courses so for this purpose we will need to use the search method so like we can say courses is equal to http dot uh, request dot uh, env okay and here we need to add at the model name like which model data we want to get so like uh in the odo backend we use a uh, self dot env and then the model and then the search method but in this case we will use http dot request and dot env edit model and then uh, dot search to get the data okay this is the difference between uh, the front end and the back end so this uh this is the model uh which we get the data and here uh, we will use the search method search and then uh, close the breakers and then list so here uh, we can uh, pass some context uh, uh, sorry uh, we can pass some domain to filter out the data but in this case we want to uh, uh, show all the data here okay and I will show you how you can add the filter here also and then uh, we will uh, render the template so for this purpose we will have to return it uh, http dot uh, request dot render okay and uh, here we need to add the template name so what is the template name it is open academy dot subject and uh, this is the template so we will just comment out this uh, template and add a new template so that you uh, can uh, check out the previous code also and let me add here um, uh, courses okay like this and then we will uh, add here uh, something like open academy dot courses open academy dot courses so this is the uh, id of the uh, uh, this is the idea of the template and then at uh, the next parameter is to pass the data so here we will have to define a dictionary and then inside the dictionary we will have to add uh, the key courses and then the data courses is courses uh, C -O -U -S, okay so we already defined it here like this courses is courses so we made a mistake here like we need to add a comma here and courses like courses okay this is how uh, we can pass the data so what this will does this will uh, this will store the data in the courses uh, 
as a key and then it will be passed to the template so here we will have to show the name the description and the responsible of the courses so here we will uh, replace it with courses so we have used uh, the key as courses so we will have to replace it here and then course okay and then he, here we will have to uh, uh, change it something like uh, uh, we will have we need to print uh, the name so what is the name let me check it so here uh, we need to first check the name so first of all we will have to activate the debug mode to check the technical field name and uh, let me check it so here it is course name so here we will use uh, uh, course dot name okay and and then we will use uh, t t e s c and course dot description so let me check the technical name of the description it is description and then it is a uh, responsible id okay description like this close it and then we have to add a t t s e s c uh, course dot responsible id dot name like this so this is we have added a dash between uh, the different uh, uh, different uh, parameter of that model and let me restart uh, the auto service and then we will have to upgrade the module because we have made the changes inside the uh, template also so let me just upgrade the module click the update button to upgrade the module and then uh, we will see the change okay then uh, we will have to refresh uh, the page okay here you can see it is new and then order the team technical course from zero to order and then Mitchell admin so as you can see the list of all the courses with uh, this detail okay and um, one thing I would uh, like to change here is uh, I would like to change the path to uh, courses okay uh, like uh, I don't want to uh, make it like uh, subjects because I want to display the courses like this and then uh, let me refresh this uh, but uh, let me uh, restart Udo and then if I refresh it I will get uh, an error okay like this does not exist and then if I change it to courses so here it is so here you can uh, see that the data is displayed and one thing more like uh, I would like to display the data in a specific state so that uh, you can add uh, like here I want to uh, display the data that is in submitted in progress and completed submitted in progress and completed states okay so here I can add this state is equal to state in state in uh, like uh, state in submitted in progress and completed okay and let me refresh it so this is how you can add the domain and uh, filter out some specific data okay refresh it so here we can see only these two record because these two records are in this uh, state so let me for example show you uh, group by uh, Okay. and uh, like here you can see this one and this one and this one. okay so this is how uh, you can display the data but uh, let me just show you if I open it in a private window like this so I got an error message so what this error message means 
this means that I am not, not a logged in user and I don't have access to the um, uh, to, to this record so if I check the logs it is saying the requested operation cannot be completed due to security restrictions please contact your system so this means that I cannot access it because I don't have access to uh, this um, a data like a raised dot users model so in this case we will have to uh, use either uh, sudo or uh, we will have to uh, give the access to that uh, like i will have to give the access to that uh, uh, model so what i will do here is uh, to use sudo so what sudo means sudo will give the super user access to the user and it will display the data if the user does not have the access to that model also so i have made a change in the xml so let me just uh, re so let me just upgrade the module and then we will see okay so upgrade it and then uh So after the module upgrade, we will see the change. Um, so it will take a bit of time. Okay, the module has been upgraded. So let me just refresh it. So here you can see the data is uh, no. We can see the data from the user which is not yet logged in. So here in this case, the user have access to this model. So what? Uh, so I would suggest not to use uh, the sudo, but uh, use just some uh, access right and give the access right to uh, give uh, the proper access rights. So like uh, if we go to the security and the ir dot model at access dot csv. So if we go to the courses open academy uh, courses, which model it is like open academy courses. So this model it is so uh, this user have access to this model and um, we can define the access for each uh, user and for each uh, group and we need to act we need to make uh, a, a access right for the public user also if you want to display the data on the website okay so this is it for this video if you enjoyed this video please give a huge thumbs up and uh, if you want to get the updates of the upcoming videos please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also click the bell icon thank you